é Stand Burger Show. Stand Burger Show. Eu falei errado? Eu falei Stand Show. Stand Show. É. é que eu sou agora é. dublê. <risos> E aí, galera, tudo bem? Eu sou o chefe Donato Galvez, proprietário do Stunt Burger, e hoje aqui de novo, gravando um programa diferente, e eu acho que vai ficar muito emocionante, porque assim, é o meu ídolo, nada mais do que George Motts, o grande conhecedor de hambúrguer do mundo, um cara que já comeu mais de 12 mil hambúrgueres no mundo inteiro, tem quatro livros, quatro livros, um saindo agora em maio, tá novinho, e um documentário sensacional, sensacional mesmo. E hoje não vai ter desafio. Eu vou trazer o George aqui para estar tá ensinando para vocês o nosso próximo hambúrguer de março, que vai ficar o mês todo aqui no Stunt Burger. E hoje, como tá tudo diferente, eu vou fazer uma brincadeira aqui. Eu vou trazer meu filho, que não vai mudar muito não, porque vai sair um donato e vai entrar outro. Senão depois eles vão ficar enchendo o meu saco, que o meu inglês não tá legal, tá tudo horrível, tudo não muito técnico. Então eu vou trazer meus dois convidados para vir aqui para poder mostrar esse novo hambúrguer do mês para gente. E aí, George? Hey there. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Let's, let's, make some let's make some burgers, right? Yeah. So what, what are we making today? Well, we're going to make a Cuban frita. Oh, Cuban frita. Can, can you talk a little bit about uh, the, the Cuban frita, the, the history about it? Uh, some of the history is that it came from Cuba. Okay, surprisingly. Okay. At some point, obviously, you know, Fidel Castro in 1959, 1559, decided to take over the, the country. Uh, he, he assumed control of the country and immediately started to take any infidels and <laughs> expel them from the country. Uh, he started to shut down most of the farming, most of the great things that were going on there, and the frita took off for uh, Miami. Oh, and it still is, I mean, today, 60 years later, it's still alive and well. So it's probably the perfect mixture between the Cuban uh, food and, and, and American food. Well, it's true. I mean, the American hamburger came to Havana probably, I'm assuming, in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. But at one point, you know, somebody said, hey, this is not, this is, you know, we need a little more spice, a little more fun in this thing. And so this burger actually includes spices that I wouldn't normally put in a burger. But there are a lot of, there are buds, there's paprika, there's garlic, there's, there's onions, a lot of things, a lot of flavor in here. It's a very flavorful burger. So it is the same, in essence, the same shape and style of an American hamburger with a very heavy Cuban influence. It tastes like Miami. It tastes like, to me, it tastes like Miami, yeah. Yeah, yeah. perfect. Uh, so let's start, let, let's, let's see how, sure. how it goes. So there are actually a bunch of ingredients that go into a Cuban frita, starting with fresh ground chuck. Fresh ground beef, obviously, it's got a, it doesn't have to have a whole lot of fat content, but it should. Um, and this is, I think, we're roughly somewhere between 75 to 80% lean, 20% fat, 25% fat. Perfect. Um, inside the meat goes a little bit of cumin. This is cumin right here. Okay. We've got some paprika, which is always great for good flavor. Kind of smoky, yeah, for sure. hot paprika. Onions. Onions go everywhere. Onions are in the meat. <laughs> They're on the burger. They're on the, the finished product. Okay. Onions everywhere. And on top of that goes a julienne potato, a fried potato, which is, has a nice little yes. salty crunch yeah. to it as well. So the first, oh, and then also this... <laughs> I'm not sure how this works, but or how this came up, but this is a, a sauce. It's like a very thin hot sauce slash tomato sauce with some vinegar in it that goes on to the pa patty as you're cooking it. It doesn't go on the burger itself. You actually cook with it, and you'll see what happens. It's kind of exciting. I heard it's somehow secret sauce. Well, I think everybody, every, everyone who makes a frita, they have to have some sort of secrets to differentiate themselves from all the other competition. You know, sometimes agree. what goes into the meat is different. Sometimes what goes into the sauce is different, but this is all my own recipe that is very loose. I'm actually very, I'd say loosely based on you yeah. know, what they're what they do. Oh, so, perfect. Yeah. Nice. Let's start with some meat, first of all. Yeah. I'm, I'm just going to grab a, a random amount. You know how you need something. I need something. Are you? Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, chef. <laughs> <laughs> so, two, uh, what is this? This is about a pound of meat. This is about a half a kilo. Yeah. About a half a kilo. I'm going to just a, just a pinch of cumin. Cumin's very strong. You don't want to add too much because it's very powerful. Paprika, on the other hand, it's strong, but it's tasty. So we're going to put the bunch in there. I don't, I don't know what I... <laughs> it's a fair amount, right? It's a fair amount. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and then we also see onions as well. So let's do that. We have a handful of onions here. So you'll see onions will go in, on, uh, everywhere. 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 At yeah. every stage. It does the give, give this, the, the, this burger a, a very interesting taste and, and um, Yeah, a little bit of texture, a little bit of texture, flavor. Texture, yeah, exactly. You know, what happens also with onions is they start to render when they heat up, and it releases onion juice. 
and onion juice is very flavorful. So this is why yeah. people put onions in and on burgers. And normally I wouldn't put onions inside the burger. I wouldn't even put spices inside the burger other than salt on a patty. Because it just it, it seems to be to be very un-American. Okay. But this is definitely not an American burger. I'm for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually bl uh, blending it almost the way you would a uh, sausage. Linguisa, right? Oh, so yeah, 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 exactly. Exactly. No, it's like a sausage, almost like you're going to fill a stuff a sausage. The next thing we want to do is make, uh, we have a flat top. Yep. Is it hot? Yeah. Yeah, you can put this on a grill. The problem with putting it on a grill, though, is you wouldn't be able to put the sauce on. Exactly. So this is very specific to using a, a flat top. And, and you wouldn't probably be able to, use, to smash it, too, so. Yeah, well, you, you have, have to do like a, yeah, exactly. But, but you'll see what happens. It's, it's pretty exciting. Yeah. So I'm going to, I poured the ball. It looks like it's around, what, 120 grams? Yeah, yeah it, it looks like, exactly, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a good set. Roughly, there, yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a okay. Red Bull. This is, oh, this is not hot. It's hot. It's not too hot. This is right around 140 Celsius. So, which is uh, well, uh, yeah, 140, yeah, 140 Celsius. Celsius. Yeah. Celsius. Yeah. I'm going at it. Oh, you're going ah, Celsius yeah, now. No, 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 no. You've been here too long. Celsius, You've been here too kilos. long. Kilos, <laughs> kilos, grams, yeah. everything. Yeah, not in my country. <laughs> hot. So it's not too hot. It's hot enough to cook it. But if it was too hot, then this, this actually couldn't put the sauce on. Okay, because it wouldn't caramelize it, right? Uh, it w well, it would, it would actually burn. Uh, yeah. The sauce has so much sugar and tomato in it that it would just burn the sauce. Oh, yeah. thank, thank you, Chef. Sous Chef. <laughs> thank you, Sous Chef. I told you, <laughs> I go to New York. You, yeah, come to New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, first, first start by smashing, smashing it. Yeah, yeah, perfect. And I just want to, it starts as a ball, because that's a unit of measurement. And I can actually smash this into. Oh, I did all. I, I, I. <laughs> <laughs> It's hot, it's a, it's a flat top. Um, I'm smashing this into the size of what I think the, 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 the bun would work. Right? Okay. Perfect. Okay. Add some more onions, right? So it's good. Next step. I'm just, this is the way they do it in Miami. They add more onions here. Exactly. Here we go. Perfect. The sauce. Ready for this? I think that's what uh, renders the taste of this, the whole burger. Right, it's, exactly. It's, this, this moment, part. yeah, yeah, it's for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Woo. yeah. There's a lot of vinegar in the sauce. That's exactly, we have a lot of vinegar and a lot of pepper. And uh, uh, you've been all around. I heard you say something about like the burger belt. Right. What about that? In America, there some of the best burgers can be found. Some of the most uh, you know, primary source burgers, the real burgers in America, can be found in, anywhere from south in Texas all the way north to Wisconsin. In the middle is Oklahoma, which I consider to be the burger, like the, the, uh, the burger buckle. Buckle. <laughs> yeah. The buckle of the belt, you know? Yeah. In Oklahoma, they do the fried onion burger, right? Which is it's one, one right. of your classics around here in Brazil. People really love that one. And the reason I make that burger all the time, and I love it so much, is because the fried onion burger, to me, is the original American. It's, I should say, it actually has DNA in it from the original American burger. hamburger, which was small, a slider, exactly. uh, cooked on a flat top, and served with nothing more than onions and pickles. Good, well, chef. Think, yeah. good, good call, chef. Yeah. Sous chef. Sous chef. He's on, he's thinking. Okay. Always it's thinking. your job to think. Yeah. <laughs> don't do, just think. I mean, don't think, just do. So whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So we're it's actually like we are we're actually uh, heating up the bun from the outside, right? Yeah, because you want to sort of toast it from the outside, not from the inside. Perfect. Because that way it makes the inside very soft, soft. and pillowy, and the outside nice. with a nice yeah. crunch. Definitely, it's a game changer for buns in this case. Cuban yeah, bread. people love this yeah. bun. By the way. Yeah. This is, this is a really great bun. You guys yeah. Here. It's very close to a Cuban roll. Really, really close. Yeah. 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 Nice. That's hot enough. Okay. Let's open that. Oh, sorry. Ooh, okay. <laughs> sorry. So chef. Okay. Transfer to the bun. Now, at this point, it gets three things. You ready? It gets uh, yeah, some more onion. More onion. <laughs> right. Onions again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Finishing with a lot onions. of onions. Uh, also, it gets a nice topping of julienne fried potatoes. And that's, and this adds a nice salty crunch. On the top of that, and I normally wouldn't do this, but ketchup. Ketchup should really should not be on a burger, but this is the way they do it in Miami, so I'm not going to tell them they're wrong. And there you go. Cuban free time. Nice. Nice burger. It's a nice looking burger. Yes. It has the same shape and feel of a... <laughs> that's not a real one. Yeah, that's, that's a fake one. <laughs> that's the real one. That's the real one. Was well, it pretty close? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. This one, it has the same shape and feel of a, like a hamburger. 
but a very, very different taste. Yeah, it, it tastes Throw like Yep. Yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Do you want to grab a bite? I sure do. You should. Oh. Oh. George, thank you very much mm. for coming. And uh, Pleasure. Uh, you're all, like you're now always in Brazil. It's time to learn Portuguese. <laughs> yeah. Next time we're gonna yeah. do this in Portuguese. And maybe oh, maybe yeah, we'll do yeah. some other bur burgers. That's frightening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I know Cervation, Cochina, that's all I know. Cochina, Mortadella. Yeah. Oh, I know Mortadella. That's a yeah. Yeah. Word. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pitaya. Pitaya. Pitaya, yeah, exactly. Mongia. We hope you come, you come back soon. And uh, yeah, thank you for coming and helping us with everything. And uh, it was amazing. It was Thanks amazing for having me. Happy anniversary. Oh, well, thank, thank you, you very much. much. You, you are all very hardworking people that's done. So thank George. you. George. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very much. I love it too. Wait, keep you, say, it. you say a sous no. chef uh, anytime. Yeah, and you need, you, need, you need in New York, you call me, I can go with You got it. Give me the handshake. What's the handshake? Yes. No, no, no. That was just, oh, just this. Oh, yeah. There we go. Okay. You see that? Okay. <laughs>